ladies and gentlemen we finally have more information as to how we're going to get our hands on Ragnar Prime here in Rise of Kingdoms and this information comes from official sources I have been getting so many people sending me DMs in game and on Discord of a bunch of different inconsistent responses from customer support that have been spreading misinformation about Ragnar Prime all over the community it's actually insane and so luckily today we know a bit more about Ragnar Prime and how we're going to get our hands on him so that's what we're going to talk about in today's video and we might touch on a couple of more things from this new update video that was posted on the official Rise of Kingdoms YouTube channel but I'll probably do a full update 1.0.87 video in the coming days so stay tuned for that and if you don't want to miss it make sure you double check down below that you're subscribed and click the bell so you don't miss an upload and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video anyway with all that out of the way what's going on guys cheers okay so there's been a lot of confusion about Ragnar Prime a lot of people mistakenly think that Ragnar is exclusive to the new King of All Britain KBK this is not true Ragnar Prime does play a key role in this KBK story but the only thing that is exclusive to that KBK story regarding Ragnar Prime is his special accessory okay we'll talk about that in just a minute but here you can see actually with the Halloween update you can see the spooky little uh lantern here we've got some jack-o-lanterns right in the Halloween update there will be an event that comes around called first strike this event will temporarily unlock Ragnar Prime for you for free for the remainder of the event so it looks like well this says 14 hours it's probably going to be for the duration of the Halloween events or maybe it'll be a week but as you can see here Ragnar is fully expertise okay so what that means is during the first strike event you will be able to try out Ragnar Prime for free at level 60 fully expertise now this is really cool because everyone's going to get their hands on him and they can try him out there are some downsides to this though so here we can see that you will be borrowing the strength of a new legendary commander oh okay here we have the information the event will last for seven days during the event you'll be able to try out the new legendary commander Ragnar Prime you'll be able to use the trial commander in a variety of events but you won't be able to use them in king in, in kingdom or lost kingdom map battles okay you won't be able to use them to garrison your city wall either at the end of the event the trial commander will be automatically removed from your roster now this is if you've ever played other uh, games like Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail what happens typically in those games is when a new hero or a new character comes into the game they will give you a trial period where you could try out the character in a set like sort of game mode and just to see what their skills do and see how they perform in the animations and the colors and all that cool stuff right so this seems to be very similar to that in that you get your hands on Ragnar Prime just to see how he performs what his aoe looks like and how he might pair with other commanders but you won't be able to use him in actual like pvp scenarios where it really matters according to this and one more thing i want to show off here is actually something that they did announce yesterday this was shown in a youtube short it is shown once again here on the official video here for Ragnar Prime but this is his active skill uh you could see it in two different uh positions basically the first one fired up the other one fired to the side here you can see it honestly it looks super cool he swings his axe around and then these like Ravens just fly out of the sort of AOE area I actually think this looks really sick and it does kind of give me Halloween vibes which I think makes a lot of sense given when we're going to be getting our hands on Ragnar Prime now what's awesome about this if you rewind that's a half circle aoe ladies and gentlemen so this is going to be a super powerful aoe for infantry it's not just your regular fan shape like guan yu for example this is a half circle we love to see that and the animation looks really cool the next thing i want to talk about here is the special accessory for ragnar this was previously confirmed but i do just want to reiterate here because this is again a point of confusion for a lot of people in the community okay so Ragnar Prime will be part of the key story of the new season of conquest King of all Britain event and in this story specifically at a certain milestone within your KBK governors will get access to a special accessory that only works for Ragnar Prime and only works in this KVK and when Ragnar Prime is the secondary commander 
all of his skills will apply to any troop type okay so as you guys know we could see here from the initial release if you want to see all of his skills you can check out my previous video we go over all the skills but all the skills here are infantry skills okay uh he has infantry defense infantry march speed if you're you know if your army is all infantry units etc okay if you are in the king of all britain kvk and you have this accessory that apparently you're going to be getting just by playing in the kvk then as a secondary commander ragnar prime will be usable for all troop types so if you're an infantry player he's going to stay infantry if you pair him with infantry commanders if you're a cavalry main or an archer main then you can pair him as a secondary to your favorite cavalry or archer primary and with this accessory his skills will be effective for whatever troop type that you're pairing with now if you run him in a mixed army um I think it will work for all units in the army okay obviously we'll have to get our hands on this to just double check but I'm pretty sure that this, that's how this works so for example if you wanted to run a Trajan primary with Ragnar Prime secondary then you would be able to run a mixed army and all of Ragnar's skills would apply to all the different troop types in that army so he's effectively a leadership commander with this special accessory at least that's my understanding of it which honestly is probably going to be a good play I think a lot of people are going to use him with Trajan I think that could be a very interesting way to get Trajan out in the field in this specific KBK game mode but I do want to make very clear here that this accessory is not available in any other KBK and that is the only thing that is exclusive to Ragnar Prime in this KVK, meaning that we will have access to Ragnar Prime in all other game modes, okay? You will be able to use him in Home Kingdom. You will be able to use him in other KVKs. You'll be able to use him in Sunset Canyon and every other. He's basically a regular commander, okay? He's just a regular commander. The only difference is in the special KVK, he gets a special accessory that makes him turn into basically the best leadership commander in the game, okay? But the question that everybody has been asking me over the past 24 hours is how do you get Ragnar Prime? Now, the official Rise of Kingdoms Discord announced this morning that many governors had been eagerly asking how to get Ragnar Prime during the King of All Britain first strike teaser event you'll have the chance to try him out fully expertise for a limited time that's what we just talked about finally he won't appear on the Wheel of Fortune or the Mightiest Governor events instead an exclusive event will follow soon where you'll be able to unlock him for free on the very first day so this is confirmed this event is how you get Ragnar Prime permanently on your account for all other KVKs okay so temporarily you can try an expertise for for, for first strike for seven days here we see instead of the Wheel of Fortune and instead of the Mightiest Governor event there's an exclusive event you'll get him on day one for free this is very exciting stuff here I'm very happy to hear this previously players had speculated that Ragnar Prime would come into the game in a similar way that maybe Lu Bu did or maybe a similar way that Margaret did for example right specifically like with Margaret and with Gaja Mata I, I believe it was a seven day login event you had to log in each day and you know get him at the last at the end of the week it sounds like with Ragnar it will not be like that in fact you'll get him for free on the first day so I'm wondering you know if you you get him for free in the first day that's that's a summoning right that's 10 sculptures that's it all you do is you get him for free for 10 sculptures boom you unlock him and that's it he's a one 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 commander but if he's part of a seven day login event for example like we saw historically with Margaret and Gajamata is it possible that we'll be able to maybe complete events to get more sculptures of Ragnar Prime for free maybe we'll be able to get our hands on 50 sculptures of Ragnar to make him a five one 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 commander that would be really cool now this is not confirmed this is just speculation calculation but if we unlock him on day one what would we do for the rest of the event right like there's got to be other rewards if like there's there's no way it's going to be a 24-hour event where you just log and you get him and that's it right that would be I mean maybe maybe that's how it will be but it sounds like day one you unlock him what about the rest of the event maybe there's other ways to get your hands on him now I personally feel like this should be an opportunity for them to put him in the expedition I've been saying this for years um it, it makes sense right we already have Ethelfled in expedition uh you see Ethelfled is 
sort of going against Ragnar in the King of All Britain event here she's on the poster where is it here this is like the famous image that they're using to promote this King of All Britain event Ragnar versus Ethel Ethelfled right why not make it full full circle if you're gonna make him a commander that people get for free anyway which is very exciting I'm very happy about that then why not put him and make him free in the same way that his adversary is in the event that he's a part of right it makes sense logically in my mind maybe when you hit season of conquest you'll have the choice between Ethel fled and Ragnar prime that would make a lot of sense to me right because first of all by the time you do that you should probably be expertizing Ethel fled already second of all Ragnar prime is just way more suited to perform well in season of conquest he's got way more damage way more stats he's just better than Ethel fled she's very power crept in season of conquest everyone knows this she's effectively a peacekeeper forever in season of conquest and that's it uh also I mean we see they both have half circle AoEs like I, I feel like there's just so much overlap here it's like a slam dunk right and now we know confirmed 100 you get him for free anyway so what what's what's going on guys what what's going on I pointed this out weeks ago but they recently revamped the graphics for the expedition map uh and we've had for the past six years a dotted line going to this castle uh this I mean there's just so many things that line up here guys come on make my dreams come true make the community happy make this is what everybody wants okay give it give Ragnar Prime to everybody for free and then make it so that way you can either use sculptures to level him up or you could be patient and wait and get him for free every day three sculptures just like Ethel Flood plus whatever the chests are it'd be nice if these chests could be swapped out for treasure of the warrior king or something like that right that would be really cool but either way um, that is all the information that we have right now about Ragnar Prime I will most likely again post a full video talking more about the update 87 coming soon to rise of kingdoms but until then I wanted to make this quick video to just let you guys know dispel all the rumors okay Ragnar Prime is not exclusive to the KVK but you will get an accessory for him and you will be able to get him for free on day one when his event comes around and there'll be a trial period where you can get him fully expertise for free so there's a lot to be happy about with Ragnar Prime there's just one last thing guys put him in the expedition come on come on what are we doing here what are we doing why, why did I click that I want to click expedition uh let's let's see it guys let's see it I'm really I'm really excited for this I think the community would be so stoked if we got a mega powerful commander like Ragnar Prime and finally I do just want to point out here that the full video covering update 1.0.87 is live on the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel and it's actually their best video I'm not kidding this is actually their best video it was hilarious it's Halloween themed obviously you can see a goose here it was a great video I'm gonna link it down below or maybe in the pinned comment definitely watch the video like it's actually genuinely cool I'm I hope they do more events like this I know this is for Halloween right but uh more little skits more little things that are just like not straight to the point right like I like this stuff I don't know about you guys maybe I'm easily entertained but I think this is cool uh a goose did great with the acting round of applause for a goose everybody this was incredible uh in fact actually Leo probably had to do a little bit more acting because he had to pretend uh, just just watch the video just watch the video it's funny there's bloopers at the end like please I will link it down below and of course there's going to be more information here that I didn't talk about in today's video so you want to watch it anyway and with that being said guys if you made it to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel it helps get this video out to the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and comment down below your thoughts on Ragnar Prime what do you think about the trial do you think that's cool do you think it's pointless are you happy about the fact that you get him for free that's very awesome I'm very happy about that like that is very positive for the game I want to see more commanders that we unlock for free you don't have to spend gems in the wheel you don't have to win a mightiest governor you don't have to do all this and any other stuff you don't have to buy bundles you just get them unlocked for free day one just log in you get them that's amazing I'm happy to hear that let me know what you think about that in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace